Scrog the Conqueror thinks taking over planet Earth will be a piece of Astro Cake. <laughs> but with a little clever coding, we can equip the good guys with a secret weapon. Guided Missiles. <laughs> to counter the alien threat, we need a missile design with three important characteristics. First, we need them to spawn from all directions so the aliens can't see them coming. We also want them to be smart enough to track enemies as they zip back and forth across the screen. And lastly, we want our missiles to be able to lock on and put on a burst of speed when they sense they're close to their target. So our first goal here is to make missiles spawn randomly at the edge of the screen. The approach that most new scratchers try is to randomly pick between the four edges of the screen and then place our missiles differently depending on which wall we start at. This ends up being a lot of code, but fortunately there's a better way. What we're going to do is place our missile in the middle of the screen and spin it around randomly before teleporting it to the edge of the screen. From there, we flip it around 180 degrees, and now it's randomly placed and ready to launch. Way easier. To keep our code easy to read, let's put our spawn code into a custom block. Item two on our list is the actual guided part of our missile code. We want our missile to keep steering, so it's always pointing at the enemy. This motion block called Point Towards is just what we need. If you pull down on the menu right here, you can select any item on the screen and tell your sprite to point at it. Put this block into a loop and our missiles will keep adjusting their direction so they're always pointing at Scrog. Instead of a forever loop, I'm gonna use a Repeat Until block which will keep the missile in seek mode until it's 75 pixels away from Scrog, close enough to see his whiskers. Let's put that last bit of code into a custom block called seek. For the last step, we want to arm our missile and have it speed up to try and ram into Scrog's ship. Let's start by playing a lock-on sound to warn our player to get out of the way. Then we'll make our missile start to glow a little with this brightness effect. Next we'll need another repeat until loop, but this time we'll have our missile repeat its actions until it exits the screen. Inside this loop, we'll tell our missile to speed up to a movement of 5, and we'll tell it to start checking to see if it's colliding with our UFO. Scrog still has a split second to get out of the way, but if the missile touches, it's curtains for our alien kitty. Inside this if statement, we'll play a sound, send Scrog a message that triggers an explosion animation, and finally delete the clone missile. Let's create one last custom block here and call it destroy. Well, Scrong had enough time to bail from his exploding ship, but it looks like human ingenuity has saved us once again. Check out the full game on our Scratch account at Atomic Studios and see how long you can survive. I feel the liftoff. The clock has started. Roger.